So we started the series of, about overwhelm, going over the neuroscience of overwhelm generally and how it specifically can affect you as a caregiver. Today we're going to talk about something called decision fatigue. Every day all of us make decisions all day long. Some are little, like what to have for lunch. Other ones are bigger, like should I quit my job? But every choice that we make takes energy, takes that emotional bandwidth. And that's not a metaphor, that's the neuroscience. The part of our brain, our prefrontal cortex, that's responsible for making decisions, runs on glucose or sugar and oxygen. So every decision that we make, every should I or shouldn't I, what should I have for lunch, um, what am I going to say in the care plan, how am I going to get mom to take a shower, all of those things use up that energy. And eventually, if there's no rest in between or if there's just so much bombarding you, you end up with something called decision fatigue. And a lot of times what that looks like is you struggle to make a decision or you make the easiest decision because you just can't think it through anymore or you freeze and you make no decision. And as a caregiver, we're making a lot of micro decisions that actually carry a lot of emotional weight. So should I call the doctor because of what I'm seeing with mom? What if mom falls again? Should mom go to rehab or be able to stay home? Those take even more of our energy. So when it comes to decision fatigue specifically, one of the solutions to that is to have systems, to have things in place that help you to not have to make as many decisions. So having things like systems or routines or checklists, those things can help when it comes to decision fatigue. So every decision that you can automate gives your brain a little more of its energy back. If you're struggling with feeling overwhelmed as a caregiver, I've developed a five day free overcoming overwhelm challenge for caregivers. And it's super easy because all you have to do is watch a short video every day for five days. The link is in the comments below.